Welcome back. So let's go through question seven. Um, this is the first example we have of probability. So as I discussed, we have a setting where we've got a bag and we've got 30 marbles in there, okay? Now we know we've got 10 yellow, 10 green, 10 red. So that's pretty straightforward, e an even amount of both. So I'm just gonna write 10 red, 10 green, and 10 yellow. And change my pen color. And 10 yellow. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, that's fine. So Zoe randomly picked three yellow marbles and seven red marbles the past 10 times. Okay, so let's, if we can redraw this. So she picked three yellow mar marbles, so that leaves seven yellow ones. There were seven yellow ones, okay. And she picked seven red ones, sure, so that leaves three red ones, and then 10 green. Okay, so that's the current state, okay. The part we're not sure about is whether or not she put them back in um, after this, so let's keep reading. After she chooses the marble, she separates it from the back. Great, so we know that she's done this event 10 times, but all the other marbles are now outside the back, right? They're all out here, okay? Okay, so we know that the setup, this is a setup of dependent probability because all the previous events impact this now current choice. So let's choose from the answers. There is a greater chance that Zoe will pull a red marble from the back. So that's incorrect because there's only three in the bag left. There is a greater chance that Zoe will pull a green marble from the back. So that's correct. There is an equal chance that Zoe will pull one or the other. So that's incorrect. And notice how if we misread this and we think that she does put the marble back, right? As in like she's picking from the original case. Of course, there's 10, 10, 10, it's an equal chance. But we know because it says after she chooses the marble, she separates them from the bag. This is an example of dependent probability. So it's no longer the same. So C is incorrect. And then Zoe is more likely to pull a green marble from the bag compared to a yellow or red marble. So this is also correct. So now I'm stuck. <coughs> Which is correct, B or D? Well, you have to read really carefully to get this one right. Um, so is it more likely to pull a green leg or is there a greater chance that Zoe will pull a green marble? So this is very, very kind of close as more comes down to your reading comprehension. But in this case, I would pick D just because it is more likely rather than there is a greater chance that Zoe will pull a green mark from the back. This is more to do with the wording of the question. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, focus more on the actual probability itself, understanding the dependent or the independent event. Okay, um, so good luck with that and um, finish off in the next question time.